Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today to talk about the quiet luxury trend. I wouldn't really call it a trend, it's basically classic, timeless fashion. How I like to shop and how I like to build my own curated, timeless wardrobe. But I'm quite excited it's a buzzword at the moment and people are talking about it more. You might also hear it being called the old money aesthetic, especially over on TikTok. Uh, but in essence, it's basically elevated basics, those timeless classic pieces in your wardrobe that you'll be able to wear and repeat, that never go out of style and also make you look elevated, rich and expensive. So I will first break down the quiet luxury trend, so to speak, of how you can achieve the look, so my styling tips and tricks, and then I'm going to go into my 12 quiet luxury wardrobe staples, and I just think these are, anyway, great building blocks for your forever wardrobes. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a mouthful with this, aren't I? But I will get into today's video, and if you're new here and you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. For the quiet luxury trend, you'll find that the colours tend to be neutral, nude, or dark muted colours. So think lovely beiges, creams, blacks, navies, and actually a tonal look works really well for the quiet luxury trend as well, especially those white creamy tones. Less is definitely more when it comes to the quiet luxury trend, um, so it's very minimalist but has a slight edge to it. So think of sort of styling by The Row, by Kate, by Totem, wardrobe classics and staples, a Coco Chanel moment of look in the mirror, take one thing off and less is more when it comes to the quiet luxury trend. You want to avoid big shouty logos. When looking for logos in your clothing, I would say to opt for sort of very small flashes such as my YSL belt, maybe the YSL sunglasses with the gold on them and of course, beautiful Chanel bags. Oh. I have one on my wish list. I'm hoping to invest in my first vintage one this year. But just think, not obvious big shouty logos. You wouldn't have a print that's covered in a logo head to toe. And you just wanna keep things plain and simple. When it comes to what's wear on your feet, tends to be dainty footwear. So think of classic styles like a ballerina pump or a loafer or barely their strappy sandals. Never underestimate the power of a sweater scarf. Now I know that this has become ever more popular in the last couple of seasons, but it really is a true old money aesthetic vibe to have a cable knit sweater or a striped jumper just nonchalantly thrown over your shoulders. Good basics are everything. And when it comes to the basic pieces in your wardrobe, like your tank tops, t-shirts, shirts, etc., think quality over quantity. You want to look at the composition of the materials, 100% cotton, silk, something really comfortable and breathable, or when it comes to knitwear, maybe think about investing in cashmere, those beautiful, luxurious fabrics which really elevate an outfit and also last that little bit longer in your wardrobe. Tailored pieces are key, so think your shirts, blazers, trousers, even waistcoats, but you want to go for a more relaxed, masculine fit. The clothing never seems too tight, so you maybe want to size up, wear your shirt a little bit loose, have the sleeves rolled up, have some buttons undone, a tuck half in, half out, just have a play around. When it comes to handbags, let's keep things plain again. You want a nice leather handbag in a usable, everyday size that doesn't have a big, shouty logo on it. It's quite nice as well to have a little bit of structure in your bag. You'll find you'll see a lot of sort of boxy bags that fit in with this trend, but as well as some more sort of relaxed everyday tote bag styles. And then for your jewellery, gold. Through and through gold jewellery. You just want to have some really nice classic gold pieces like some gold hoops, some gold chains, a couple of bracelets, a nice gold or vintage looking watch. And again, with the jewellery, less is more. So you won't really see loads of stacking of bangles on the wrist and things like that. It'll tend to be quite minimal, but the gold jewellery really does complete the outfit. Now you know how you can achieve the quiet luxury aesthetic. I'm going to tell you my 12 old money and quiet luxury wardrobe essentials that again are my timeless staples anyway. These are classic pieces you're gonna keep reaching for and I think everybody should own them in their wardrobe. Everything will be linked in the description box below as well with some of my recommendations as well. But number one, 
good old tank top. I think that these are so seriously underrated. Try and look for one perhaps that has a different cut on the neckline. I love the ones from Arquette. They're about under £20. Super affordable, 100% cotton, but just get yourself a few tank tops in your arsenal for layering in your outfits this spring and summer. Relaxed tailored trousers. You want them to be more of a wide leg, loose fitting, even a low slung waistline. Just something you find comfortable. This could be high waisted, darts down the middle of the trousers, full length or like I previously mentioned a slight crop above the ankle, but tailored trousers, everyday comfort and they are a necessity for the quiet luxury trend. Number three is a long clean skirt. So think a mid-axi length or a maxi length, a nice straight line silhouette perhaps in cotton or denim, or you could go for a more fluid satin slip skirt. For me, satin screams luxury, and if you go for a lovely neutral tone, you'll be able to easily style it from day to night with most items that you own in your wardrobe. Number four is a jersey dress. Preferably 100% cotton if you can. They are relaxed, comfortable, sophisticated, and I would say to go for a black dress here because everybody needs a black dress in their wardrobe. It'll go with everything, but of course, a neutral one would work well for this as well. Number five is an oversized button-down shirt. So a more relaxed fit, you want something loose like you've taken it out of your boyfriend's or husband's or partner's cupboard, you want to go for perhaps a silk like I'm wearing today or 100% cotton again and in summer you can play around with linen but nice loose relaxed shirt. Waistcoats have been on the rise in popularity for the last couple of years but they are through and through a true timeless classic wardrobe staple and a great way to emulate the quiet luxury look at this time of year is to pair a waistcoat and trousers together with some belly there sandals. I really love this look, it's the perfect minimal, luxury, comfortable outfit because we've got tailoring, the waistcoat adds a little bit of interest as being an elevated basic rather than t-shirt and having a tonal outfit just looks chef's kiss. Number seven is a structured blazer or jacket and again you're going to want to go for something that's a bit more loose and relaxed like a boyfriend blazer style over a fitted more corporate look. I always go for a masculine and oversized style, it's basically my comfort zone these days so like I said the quiet luxury isn't really as such a trend to myself, it's how I've been shopping. I would add in here actually I forgot to mention before quiet luxury with the quality of quantity it is more about considered shopping as well so really thinking through your purchases before you're buying things and adding them in your wardrobe making sure they're things that you're going to wear time and time again throughout the years that it's not an impulse buy that you've looked at the composition the material how it's going to feel how it's going to fit and everything like that so just forgot to add in there as well that it definitely is a considered way to shop and create your wardrobe Next up let's talk some footwear and the good old ballet flat is the number one I would say if you're going to get one pair of shoes to update your wardrobe for the quiet luxury aesthetic. Definitely the ballet pumps, they're feminine and chic but they just seem to work with all of the outfits as well. Next is a pair of clean leather sandals, something that is comfortable, great quality, sleek streamline, just completes an outfit but doesn't draw attention to the foot and I find that these are so classic as well and comfortable. I do live in my Havianas at this time of year. I have a new pair of Fit Flop which have a slight chunkier sole. They're 100% leather, even the sole, so it just makes them look really elevated, really expensive, but they have that kind of row ginza vibe about them and I'm totally here for it. So if you wanted a pair of sandals that you're just gonna get lots of wear this summer, I can 100% recommend them. As I mentioned before, the quiet luxury trend is not shouty with logos at all. So you're going to want to get yourself a nice clean leather handbag. And again, I can definitely leave some suggestions below if you're looking on the high street. I love Arquette bags, they're so good. So are Cos bags. Uh, but if you wanted to spend a little bit more, my Loewe Puzzle Hobo fits perfectly in with this trend. And I love this bag, I've used it so much. So <laughs> has to have a little bit of a mention in here as well. But I do keep on meaning to do an updated handbag video, which will be coming very soon. And of course, 
the gold jewellery mentioned that before in the styling points but that is a must when it comes to completing your quiet luxury outfits and there's so many places that you can get beautiful affordable gold plated jewellery from so I will leave a few of them linked in the description box below but your gold jewellery will make even the simplest of outfits just polished, effortless, clean, quite a luxury. And an outfit wouldn't be complete without a pair of sunglasses, would it? So one essential accessory is a pair of black classic sunglasses. Now I love a cat eye. I can 100% recommend my YSL Mika sunglasses. If you want an investment pair, they are 100% worth it. But I've seen a few similar styles on High Street. So like I mentioned, I will leave them linked in the description box below. But let me know what you think about the quiet luxury trend and this whole buzzword that's going around. As I mentioned, for me, it's not so much a trend, it is a way that I dress, I shop mindfully for my wardrobe. It's basically classic, timeless style and elevated basics that you can wear, but just wearing them minimally, a paired back look. And I love my minimal style, so let me know your take on the quiet luxury and all money aesthetic trend down in the comments section below. And I will see you guys in next week's video, which should be about some summer workwear, which I've had some requests for. So make sure you're subscribed and you don't miss that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye.